My name is Luc Besson. I'm a director. Eventually. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking with me. I am a huge fan. I'm very excited about Lucy. So tell me, how did you come up with the concept? This total computer character, feminine woman? Because usually it's guys doing movies like that. Yeah, and it's boring. <laughs> so <laughs> now women are much more fun. I mean, we always say that you know, the man is trend is is lots of strength and the woman is, is, is weak but in fact uh, I think it's much more interesting to see the opposite to see how women can be strong and how men can be weak you know I love that <laughs> I'm a strong independent woman so I totally relate to it I relate to all the movies you've done I'm thinking everything you've done so from your past films what elements did you bring in to Lucy to sort of figure out the visuals, the characters, or a storyline, or something that you wanted to sort of bring from, say, for instance, the fifth element that we all want a sequel to? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think every, f every movie you learn so much and you try to say, okay, next time I will never do that again. <laughs> <laughs> and then you learn things and, and, and so you, you, you're stronger every film and then you, you try to to put that in, in, in the new energy. The challenge of Lucy, we, we, you know, we're basically using 10% of our brain capacity. This woman, she's a normal woman, it's college, she's a student in, in Taipei. She's wondering what she's gonna do with her life. She's partying too much. You know, she's really the average lost girl. And then suddenly, she will have, for things that I won't explain, it's too long, but she will have access to 15% and then 20% and, and 30% of her brain capacity and then she can't stop it because it's like dominoes when you reach 20% 20 you can open 30 then you can open 40 and then and then it, she's colonizing her own brain mm -hmm. and she's gonna go to the ultimate knowledge when she start as a small stupid girl and the, the movie is about this this journey mm -hmm. and where we're going because we follow her step by step from 10 to 15 to 20 to 25 and it's scary where it's going wow well i'm ready to jump on the lucy train how did you pick scarlet to be the star you you, you can't go on this type of film just with you know an agent and a contract you, you need to meet the person to be sure that she's understand the thing because it's kind of complex and you it's like two dogs you know like smelling the butt you know? <laughs> so we went on a coffee and smelled the butt <laughs> and you need to be sure that she understand the film I, we, we can exchange and then and Scarlett is great for that because there's She's a tough cookie. There's no bullshit. She's watching you like this for two hours. <laughs> you know, so you have to tell the truth. And at the end, she read the script. She understands it. She wants to do it. It was very challenging, but she, she was a. Uh, she was there, and I and I like that. So that's that's how it becomes. So working with her was a little tough because you're a tough guy and she's a tough woman. So it's probably a little bit of a butting heads. No, at all. In fact. She's very, lots of um, work before to be sure of what we're going to do mm -hmm. because when she reached 20% she, she can't use anything of her. Okay. All the, the human reaction that she can have, emotional, love, anger, all this disappear at 20%. You know, so she cannot play anything with who she is. And that was kind of scary because mm -hmm. she, if she said, if I cannot use who I am, with what I'm going to play? And I said, you're going to play what we invent. So it's really uh, building, you know, a, mm -hmm. a character in another body language, totally. And it was very difficult to do. Wow.
It looks like a really interesting film. I haven't really seen anything like it and exploring the use of our brains is just the newest frontier. So it's a major change from anything I've seen. Did anything else influence you? Did you read like a scientific journal about people expanding their brain usage? Yeah, I, I work with professors for almost 10 years on that because I want to know the truth and I want to have a base that people can believe. In the film, there's a lot of things were true Mm -hmm. and half of them are fake but you know if you mix everything together very well everything looks real for example uh, every cells in your body mm -hmm. that you need a microscope to see you know one cell uh, one cell exchange 1,000 messages per second per cell and you have 1,000 million cells in your body and you have no access to these messages at all. You know, so just when you get these numbers, you say, oh my God, so what about if I have access to it? What I'm gonna do with it? And, and that's how the film starts, in fact. Oh, but wow. it's not a documentary about mm -hmm. the brain, okay? <laughs> you, you have fun also. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a lot of fun. It looks like she's doing a lot of physical kick assishness. Does she do a lot of her own stunts or did you guys have a good yeah, stunt she, double? The good thing is with Captain America and Avengers, she have a, a good training. So it, it, that was done. She know, <laughs> she know how to train. And, uh, no, the, the, the good thing is the arc to start like this little, almost stupid little student girl going to the ultimate knowledge and that that, that was uh, amazing to to work on that you know she really go from a to z so getting approval to make this a female driven uh film as opposed to the more traditional having a guy do it was there a lot of pushback from the studios or were no. you able to say no at all uh, i was very fortunate I, I made the film with with universal and they read the script they called me back the day after they said look we love the script we want to do it and it, it was not even the question. They, they were fascinated by the world and they just want to be in it. So, and then we work together and no, we never even think. Because the funny thing is, this can happen to anyone. It's not a woman, it could be a man the same way. It's, it's, it could happen to you or me or him. You know, it's, uh, no, not you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you're using, what, 25% of your brain? Because no, you were no, just no. like all over the place making no, no. so at, much with your new series I'm coming out. 10, like everybody. Sure? You know the only living, you know the only living animal who use more than 10%? What? The dolphin. He, oh, I love dolphins. You're using 15%. Well, I'm very excited about seeing the film when it comes out. I'm a big fan of yours. I'm looking forward to your new series and just, you know, enjoying you and everything you do. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.